Hello, I'm Fry from MMO Bugs, and today we're going to look at MQ2 EQBC. Uh, EQBC is a plugin that comprises of two parts, which is the EQBCS, which is the server which all characters connect to, and EQBC, which is the client that connects to the server. It will help you to issue commands to multiple characters at the same time, which is so it's great for multiboxing. So, say you and your friend connect to the same EQBC server. Uh, you can make his characters attack, follow you, and basically do any command he wants without leaving a trace for Sony to see it or him to even be around at the keyboard. So let's start off by launching the server. We go into our Mac request folder and we are going to look for MQ2 EQBCS. So it will be... I've gone too far. Here it is. MQ2 EQBCS, we're going to run that as administrator and then it, we get a little box here. I'm going to... Uh, I'll show you settings. Where is it? Settings.ini This is your settings for your um, EQBC. You can change the server IP address to a public IP address and you can connect via the internet to it. Um, this is just a local address currently. Um, you may need to mess with your port forwarding on your router if you can't connect as well. Anyway, let's go on and use another program called EQBC Interface. We'll run this. And this is just going to connect to see if it's working correctly. So we're just going to, we've got the address here that was in the settings. And we click connect and it will say connecting and it says it's joined and over here it says EQBC interface has joined so that's all good uh, let's load in game we're going to load the plugin so we go plugin MQ2 EQBC it's loaded now I've got this set on auto connect so let's go normally you'd go BCCMD connect one 27.0.0.1 and it would connect to the server and once you've done that you want to go bccmd this is our command go toggle auto connect so um, that's just toggled it off you want to toggle it on so now every single time you load the plugin it will automatically connect to the IP address so let's do this to my other windows say here it's connected and we want one more and voila and this is connecting too next thing we we're gonna do I'm gonna get them into a group I've got auto accept invite on so I'm just gonna invite them and they'll automatically accept for me and we're gonna start sending commands now to send a command so we go BC a and we do two slashes for a uh, you have to do two slashes for a command and we go assist my character name which is drunko and then we're going to do a uh, bca and then we're going to go slash slash face to make a faceless npc so these two guys should be facing her, which they already are. Uh, let's make them face... There's nothing else around. Let's make them face me. So we're going to BCA assist Dronco, and then we're going to go BCA slash slash face, and they should turn around. Turn around. No. Wait a second, I target myself, assist me. Then face me. You can't get. This isn't working. Let's face. Let's do the snake. Here we go. That's awesome. So they turned around. <laughs> okay. So we got slash bc, which is just a basic command. Uh, so we go bc hello, and up the top here we'll have hello. So we're going to issue a command to Munko, we're going to go bc Munko slash slash sit, and he's going to sit. Oh, I forgot the zero. 
Oh. Got his name wrong, there we go. There we sit. And we go BC slash slash Monko. Oh, we want BC Monko slash slash stand. And he will stand up again. So you can do that for casting spells. Let's do the cool thing. I've made these hotkeys over here. This is the BCA command that pretty much does everyone that's connected to the server will issue this command except for yourself. So we're going to do this, run this command on it, and this is going to assist me. It's going to stick to the target and it's going to put attack on and it's going to kill that rat. And it's a dead rat. Now there's another command, it's called the BCAA. This means everybody, including myself, will do the command. So let's do the exact same command with the BCAA command. Let's find this large rat and let's kill that. My friends coming with me. Yep, here they come. Oh, a little stuck on a tree. Come on, boys. Kill some more things. He didn't actually get here in time. Let's kill this one. Let's go, boys. And we we'll kill a rat. Uh, I've got another command here to follow. This will just target me. We'll pause 10 in case of lag. And then it will stick to me, so we'll click that. And it will send follow me commands. If I look at his window, you see up here it says Target Drunko, that's my name. And it's stick 10. And these guys are following me around now. And then I've got this other command which will stop them, which is pretty much everyone stick off, everyone in the group. So these are BCA commands, not BCAA. BCAA would make me follow these commands too. BCA just does everyone but myself. So we're going to run this to stop. Oop, Fippy Dark Paws coming. Anyway, uh, I've got these simple sick commands which I showed you before. And a stand command to send them back up again. Uh, that's about the basics for EQBC. We can do lots of really cool things, like if I loaded up 10 of these characters and shoved them all in this channel and made them run around Quainos killing everything they could see, you'd have one hell of a carnage. Uh, you could make hotkeys for, say, a shaman to slow or someone to mez, you pretty much be the leader. You hit a command and your shaman will slow it, hit another command and while well, you're targeting something and they can um, mez it. Yeah. So I've gone over auto accept group, uh, move utilities so far. This is another one of those plugins which I think everyone should really use. I'm about to die. I think I need to help out. <laughs> Poor Punko got killed. We will avenge his death. There we go. Anyway, take care everyone. If you need more information on EQBC, check out the wiki links on MMO Bugs. Adios.